Hello there, podcasters. Michael and Rob here from Box of Neutrals in visual format. Yes, I'm wearing pants for once. Thank God, because yes. I'm so sick of you walking into the studio without pants on. Peter McGinley, uh, he was arrested over the weekend for brandishing a potato sack in uh, the inner city over the weekend. He does that far too often. The mm. police know him by name. They just take him home now. It's, <laughs> it's getting ridiculous. But speaking of Peter McGinley, that is why we're here, because it is the conclusion of our, ne- well, world-renowned yes. Peter McGinley colouring competition with Ks instead of Cs. We had an overwhelming response to the Entries. We were flawed. We didn't think it would work. To be perfectly it, honest, it was a joke. Yeah, and, and you sent things in. So I think now we've got to give you a prize. I think it's because it's the first thing we ever followed through on this show. We've promised yeah. Martin Whitmarsh in a potato in a potato sack <laughs> in a jet pa- in a, a jet pack. pack. Wearing yeah. a potato. Look, stop it. Let's put him in a potato yeah. sack well, with a jet pack. We won't do it, but let's say we will. With Kenny Log- Loggins, I went to the danger zone. Yeah, but we didn't do that. But this has happened. And it's all got it spiralled wonderfully mm. out of control, <laughs> and now we're here. And you people are sick. You sicken me all. So we've had we've what we've got is that calm down, just stop. We've got we we've picked out about fifteen entries here that we think are, are well the cream of the crop, mm. let's say. And we'll start off with I think some of ours. These were sort of demonstration entries. Yeah. So uh, these were the concept entries that we had in. So this was Michael's. Entry, so you know, adorning uh, Peter McGinley drinking kerosene. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's enjoying the he's the Greens member for Bruce, apparently, the because we seat of Bruce, yeah, because we know that uh, Peter McGinley's heavily left wing, yeah, and uh, his love for the ABC as well. So that yeah. was the first entry that was from you, that's, Michael that's Hippie McGinley. Yeah, this was my entry. Um, it's quite realistic. Now, I, I, I detect um, that you've cheated here. What makes you say that? Um, well. You just, just, it's wrong. You've just done it wrong. You meant to colour it in, not paste it. Anyway, move on. It's this is another as well. You, can, you make up with it for your next entry. Yeah, this is my next entry. Uh, this is Peter McGinley winking, quite obviously. Yep. Uh, it, it's quite fitting. It's lifelike almost. It's like it's, he's here with us. It's the world's famous wink. Peter, Peter McGinley. McGinley. <laughs> it's, like he's, he's, me. it's like he's not in prison at all. And uh, we also had our producer, uh, Tim, t- uh, send in this one. Uh, it doesn't really work, does it? It's just his name. Look, it gets to the point. Yeah. You know, a... you know what it's about. Yeah. So that's good, good enough. enough. Good However, enough. now it's time to get on to uh, some of the entries from you guys, which are good. And we're going to start. This was the first one we got. This is the one when we realised that stuff was getting real. Because this one's from the Netherlands. <laughs> uh, this is a guy from someone named Martin. <laughs> this is wonderful. It's, uh, it's Peter McGinley in a Ferrari shirt, and Peter is faster yeah. than you. I can presume with that's... I thought that was a piece of toast, but apparently that's a reference to their sponsor. Mug of neutrals. I like it. Like that, and we ho. You told me that's in reference to Peter McGinley's cowboy noise. That I, I assume play on it the is. Show. If it's well, if not, then that's <laughs> thoroughly disappointing. So put that there. This is from Tom. He's a friend of ours. Uh, he's drawn. <laughs> he's just basic colouring in, but uh, the mug has now become a poo cup. <laughs> so and that's, that's obviously flies surrounding yeah. the cup to insinuate that it stinks. And Peter McGinley is drinking his own feces, or someone else's, or even another animal's feces, for that matter. <laughs> it could be, could be synthetic. At the same time. <laughs> Who knows? So you can you can check these all out at boxneutrals.com. This one here is uh, someone who has clearly discovered the the spray can tool on paint. Good good job. It's kind of like it's, it's got green lips and sort of. It's kind of like that 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 one from X Men, that character. Yeah. You morph into other. Things. And I like the the attempt of trying to fill in with uh, the bucket tool, uh, a yellow eye. Mm. It's like Peter McGinley glows in the dark after a kerosene accident. It's highlighting that very famous wink that Peter McGinley <laughs> is so well renowned for. Um, here we go, here's one. Uh, it's all done in pen. Uh, this is from Samantha, yeah. age 21, apparently, according to the, to the sheet here. So, good on you. Uh, I'd like the droopy eye here. <laughs> freaky. It's a bit Bowie-esque with the orange eye yeah. and the blue eye happening here and, and the, and and the lo- attempt at makeup here, obviously. And he loves mum. So. Yeah. And he's also got a little bit of a Fernando Alonso little Vegemite moustache happening down here on his chin. So many references there. Very yes. good. This, one, this, this, is, this is, is a wow. good one. Wow. That wow. is so many. That's applause. This is Peter McGinley as Edward Kill, the troll man. And it's so well done. It's even got the logo of that little communist yeah. TV station. And it's even cro- like got around the Formula One car here on the logo of a box of neutrals. And they've, wow. They've, they've put in this the whole tie and shirt. This is wonderful. I didn't see that. That's effort. <laughs> that is commitment to this 
this sport that is Peter McGinley colouring. So good on you. It's a sport now. Yeah, well, <laughs> in a way. It's like darts. This, this one was done quite professionally, I think. Yeah, it's actually quite accurate. It's like a life, life yeah. drawing of Peter McGinley, except I he's think, not nude. I think... Which is good. This person may be overqualified for this competition. <laughs> you're showing off. That's what yeah. you're doing. But I like the Formula One. That's quite good. That is actually That's quite impressive. good. That's impressive. Very good. Four marks for the Formula One car. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hang on. He's a, oh, this, this is a, good is a one. busy photo. Uh, this is uh, submitted by Tim, I believe. Hello, Tim. You've clearly given him multicolored. What's finger what's happening polish. here? That what's what's that? That looks like a plastic bag. <laughs> 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 so Peter McGinley does love plastic bags. We've also got an F1 car here, and clearly illustrating Tim knows about the show and Peter McGinley. The 3AW and Neil Mitchell logo there. Very good. Hand in hand, like peas in a pod. I feel that the chest hair is too manly for Peter <laughs> McGinley, though. It's a bit much. And he yeah. also loves the magpies. Mm. And also, uh, he's advertising Peter McGinley's business, which is Pete's pornographic materials. Um, on You can call him up on 99969. I like that. Very good. Uh, you're, you've shown the appropriate maturity for this competition. <laughs> Hello. It's very artistic. Very postmodern. It's Andy Warhol pop art inspired, which I like. Yeah, it's uh, it's a photo too much effort. I feel there's a lot of effort. It's in four this. entries technically. Yeah, uh, I, it's possibly too sophisticated for something Peter McGinley. Well, I do like the just you know it's like when you go on Photoshop. I know I do this in my spare time. I just load up Peter McGinley winking, and I just muck around with the color settings in Photoshop and just muck around with it for my own amusement. Is that yeah. weird? Yeah. Is that it is. Well, pardon me for spending a Saturday night like that. Here we go. What do you do? Cruise around chicks with Martin Brundle or something? Yeah, look but no. never stare. Here we go. Peter McGinley blackface with blackface <laughs> spelt incorrectly <laughs> somehow. So uh, probably again, same level of maturity. That one was submitted by Scott. I'm going to um, say that's like the F1 logo, but it's just work. It's actually just a typo. Hmm, Peter McGinley black, black F1 ace. <laughs> that's good. Uh, oh, hello. This is a sparkly one. I don't know if that comes across on the camera. But uh, the mug has been turned into a dog, which really sort of <laughs> en encapsulates Peter McGinley's love of animals. Yes, particularly it's his dog. A illegal yeah. love of animals on occasion. Let's say no more. About well, it's in a mug as well, which. I've, why is he drinking <laughs> your dog? <laughs> I don't know if he's drinking. Anyway, look, that's a good one. <laughs> this. Uh, <laughs> I love this one a that's, lot. That's uh, someone's clearly not found the fill tool on paint. Yeah, it must be the, the Spanish entry with the ja 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 ja. Look out for that little paint bucket. That'll make your drawings much nicer. And I find wow, it's a very this... colourful one. It's a very funky. Funky one. Peter McGinley goes clubbing to a to a bar of some sort, a cocktail bar, which is of course unrealistic. Peter mm. McGinley would never be. And would just be. They would like only that. serve kerosene. I like that he's been given a monobrow here. Mm. It's been modified so he has a monobrow. I like that because it's actually it, fairly close to the truth. And I do love how he's got a blue eye. It's like it's it's like which there's another one here where he's got blue eyes. He's, he's like out of. Hitler Youth or something. Yeah, Just look, let's blonde hair, blue eyed. So they were they were our, our pick of the competition. Now before we get to our winners, yes, who are second and third pl and first place, quite logically, we do have uh, dishonorable mention. Out of all out of all of that, we got a bad one. We do. We have a bad one <laughs> after all of because they were excellent. This one's from someone named Adam. Yeah. Um. All right. <laughs> I have no part of this. Neither do I. But I don't see it. It's not illegal. There we are. So yes. that's uh, Adam. Well done. That's all I've got. I got nothing uh, else to say. I don't, I don't know. Peter McGinley was a fan of uh, Simple Plan. Yeah, that's just um, for some reason. And Gene Simmons from Kiss. I didn't know he was into that sort of thing. That's uh, just. But there you have it. Under the table. That's good. But now, onto the important business of identifying a third, second, and winner of our competition. So I think third place has to go to this entry here. All Who will way, it be, Michael? All the way from the United Kingdom. It's the Andy Warhol. That's from Tiff, and she wins some stuff. It's a, uh, what do we got? We've got um, a ticket that I purchased when uh, Joe Saywood was over for the Australian Grand Prix. Uh, you can spend an audience with Joe on Wednesday, March 25th, 2011 at 7 p.m. sharp. Uh, we were late to that. We were late, but I can tell you it was good. So you can take uh, solace in the fact that that was actually And she also evening. wins. A picture, unsigned, but with a bit of sticky tape on the top, of McLaren's Kimi Raikkonen. Um, of course, successful NASCAR driver now. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if he ever did get his water bottle. Now, this uh, is the second prize. There's a lot of effort involved in this quite one. Quite a bit. It's quite a bit of effort, and we were pleased with that. And of course, it references a meme, which, you know, we love memes. <laughs> this one here, 
the Trollolol McGinley. Simply I, amazing. I, I'm a, astounded by that. It is great. It's properly good. I do love the detail uh, here in the suit and the what tie. What prize shall we give uh, Dan? Uh, I've got a glove, uh, one glove that I've coloured in uh, for a concept for a top secret project I was working on. So rest on. assured, if only one hand catches fire, you will oh, be safe. This, this, this looks like an ordinary Met card, yep. but it's the Met card that expires on the 23rd of March 2011. Uh, a daily full fare zone one that I purchased at South Yarra Station the day we ah, interviewed Olav Mole. There you go. So That's... I haven't seen it. I bought it afterwards because we had to take the train back here. So that ticket is in fact Olav Mole yep. by association. And a signed picture of number one, Sebastian Vettel. Mm -hmm. Now according to that, if I can just borrow that for a second, Sebastian Vettel not only is good at driving, but he has a good sense of humour and his aim is to make the car go as fast as it can. You can tell a publicist wrote that. That's a proper insight into how Sebastian Vettel His works. goal for 2009, to beat every single driver on the grid, but still enjoy every minute of it. That was 2010. Yes, now, important business. Who is the winner? Mm. Who do we pick There's, of um, our competition? Now, the blackface one was good, but it was misspelt. <laughs> Uh, the droopy eye one. This one's just disqualified that immediately. One, don't bring that back up. There was a professional texter one, which was quite good, but... There was the one with your feel... dog. Yeah, that one was good as well. There's the funky yes. car one with the motor. And for the prize, no. the grand prize consists of a BMW Sauber from 2009 with Kurs. As it flies off the table and it's broken a wing as well, so I presume that was Nick Heidfeld's. Uh, you also win this Braun GP hat that I bought mm. from the 2010 Australian Grand Prix, uh, cheap, uh, from a train station that was selling old merchandise. Uh, and it doesn't really fit my big head, uh, which is a bit smaller than Peter McGinley's, but he doesn't fit into it. So you can have that one. And the grand prize, I think the piece de resistance of the prize. You would think number one, Sebastian Vettel, mm. but it's our favorite. Actually, they, they should go hand in hand, yeah, that, to be honest. That's more logical. Why didn't we do that? A signed photograph of Renault's Vitaly Petrov uh, with a bit of his thumbprint as well when he smudged the the wet ink on the card there so that will be yours uh mysterious person who yeah. wins this prize and who is it michael this person uh he sent us this entry the address was, was the, the netherlands, netherlands. this is dizzy stuff folks congratulations to martin you are the winner of the peter mcginley coloring competition we all could not go past <laughs> the ferrari shirt the mustache and the we and of course the mug of neutrals that's it's an excellent entry. Wow. I'm I'm still amazed at the level of entries that we got. Thank you so much to yeah. everyone who sent in their entry and spent I mean I, Martin from the Netherlands the spent I, his yeah. weekend coloring Peter McGinley. Think about that. He spent his free time coloring the most acidine competition on Australian radio. That's Applause. Only applause can make this, you know, it's only appropriate. That's it's an amazing entry. <laughs> I can't believe this has actually happened. So I think in truth, all of our entrants, they were all wonderful, but I think all of the people who participated really need to go You're all winners, you're all winners. Have a look in the mirror and really wonder what you're doing with your life by entering competitions like these. You are sick deprived people and we love you for disturbing. it. But please keep listening to our show because we love you and for yep. And as well, I mean, just because the competition ended, you could still enter. Yeah. Peter McGinley. We'll still put the picture up forever. Yeah, we'll forever. put the pictures up on the website. You can't win yeah. anything, but everyone loves coming in Peter McGinley. Yeah. So I guess until next time we have a competition, uh, I've been Michael. I've been Rob. And uh, make sure you keep listening to Box of Neutrals, boxofneutrals.com. Australia's only Formula One radio show. Number one.